Good morning. A very warm welcome to our Eucharistic celebration for the first Sunday of Lent. If you're new to our parish, or you're coming back after a certain period of absence, we would like you to know we are very glad to have you here celebrating the Eucharist with us. You are also welcome to join us from home via YouTube. While we prefer to see you in person, this can be an option. Either way, welcome. Today's liturgy is animated by the extraordinary ministers of the Holy Communion. As we enter the season of Lent, we begin a period of preparation to celebrate the central mystery of our faith, the death and resurrection of Jesus, the Paschal mystery. Lent recalls 40 days Jesus spent in the desert during which he was tempted by the devil. Through prayers, fasting, and fidelity to the love of God the Father, he overcame the tempter. We too have to face temptation. We need God's grace to resist them. Lent provides us with a great opportunity to follow with confidence the footsteps of Jesus. During this Eucharist, let us ask him to help us to use this time of grace to increase our personal and community prayer. Today, as we gather in our Father's house, let us pray for our families and ask God to bless them in the midst of their daily lives with all its joys and anxieties. This Eucharist is being offered for the eternal repose of the souls of Larry Ford by Lenora and Kathy Ann Ford, Tony Laizo by his wife and family. Please rise and with faithful devotion, ask our Lord to help us to prepare ourselves to celebrate the Eucharist as we sing a hymn from the Green Book, number 367. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in a moment of silence, we thank the Lord for our own faith, for our own journey of faith.
My dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly beseech the Lord our God to bless this water he has created, which will be sprinkled on us as a memorial of our baptism. May he help us by his grace to remain faithful to the spirit we have received. Baptized in water, sealed by the Spirit, cleansed by the blood of Christ the King. As our salvation, trust in His promise, faithful in
Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, through the yearly observances of Holy Lent, that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Christ and by worthy conduct pursue their effects. We ask this, Almighty Father, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated and we receive the word of God. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said to Noah and to his sons with him, As for me, I am establishing my covenant with you and your descendants after you. And with every living creature that is with you, the birds, the domestic animals, and every animal of the earth with you, as many as came out of the ark. I establish my covenant with you, that never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of a flood, and never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. God said, this is the sign of the covenant that I make between me and you, and every living creature that is with you, for all future generations. I have set my bow in the clouds, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring clouds over the earth, and the bow is seen in the clouds, I will remember my covenant that is between me and you, and every living creature of all flesh. And the waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. The word of the Lord.
second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, Christ suffered for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous in order to bring you to God. He was put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit, in which also he went and made a proclamation to the spirits in, in prison. In former times, this did not obey. When God waited patiently in the days of Noah, during the building of the ark, in which a few, that is, eight persons, were served through water, baptism, which this prefigured, now saves you not as a removal of debt from the body, but as an appeal to God for a good conscience during the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God with angels, authorities, and powers made subject to him. The word of the Lord. to you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. After Jesus was baptized, the Spirit drove him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness 40 days, tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild beasts. And the angels waited on him. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. The Gospel of the Lord. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Children and youth receiving catechesis in our church during these five weeks of Lent will reflect and pray about reconciliation. They will receive five different readings from the sacred scriptures, five different stories about reconciliation. And what about you? I invite you during these five weeks of Lent to intensify your prayer life. I invite you to think and especially to practice five different ways of prayer during these five weeks. Pope Francis has declared this year a year of prayer, 
as a preparation for the Jubilee in 2025. So during these five Sundays of Lent, guided by the Holy Spirit and sacred scriptures, we are going to practice five different ways of prayer. And we are going to reflect and remind about the meaning of these ways of prayer. The first week will be personal prayer. The second will be community prayer, but community at home with your family, wife, husbands, children, grandchildren, community prayer at home with your families. The third will be community prayer in your pastoral groups, in your groups of apostolates, the different groups in the parish. Then we will pray, the fourth will be the community prayer in the church, but what we call popular, popular practices or a prayer in the church, community prayer with popular traditions. And the last one will be community prayer here in the church, but what we call the liturgy of the church. This is our first week. We will reflect about personal prayer. In our first reading, we heard about the covenant. This is a communal covenant between God and God's people. But it is also a personal covenant between God and each one of you. See, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands, says the Lord through prophet Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 10. Personal prayer is our relationship with God our Father through our Lord Jesus Christ. God our Father who has inscribed you in the palms of his hands. The Catechism of the Catholic Church, number 2686, 2686, says this, quote, ordain ministers, meaning the, the bishops, the priests, and deacons, ordain ministers are also responsible for the formation in prayer of their brothers and sisters in Christ. That is what we do in catechesis. That is what we want to do. Catechesis is not only teaching, but the formation for our journey of faith in prayer. Readers, as we have here on Saturdays, all the youth and children reading, as we have during the celebration of Christmas, practicing to be the ones who continue our faith, the ones who receive the faith from you, and will continue the faith in the parish. That is what we want to do. In the gospel today, we heard that Jesus was tempted. It's a very short reading. In the gospel of Matthew, which is longer, in, verse, in chapter 4, verse 11, says that after Jesus was tempted, tempted, he overcame these temptations. The devil left him as he couldn't win, and suddenly angels came and waited on him. You know that our lives, in our lives, you have the experience, sometimes we have to face difficult moments in our normal life, in our daily lives. And to face those difficult moments, we need good physical strength, good minds, good clear minds, good physical health. But some of those difficult moments, some of those battles are different and they are called temptations and they are far from easy. We need to fight also those temptations. And for that, we need not only good physical strength, but we need strength in our spirits, in our spiritual life, we need strong hearts, and that strength comes from personal prayer. That is what we call 
personal prayer. Sometimes, I am sure you have experience about this also. Sometimes we are rescued, or our beloved ones are rescued from these temptations through the prayers of the family, prayers of friends, prayers, prayers of parents and godparents. But once we are rescued from those temptations, we have to continue our own journey of faith. And for that, we need personal prayer. In his crossing of the threshold, Pope, the, the threshold of hope, Pope St. John Paul II wrote this, page 23, quote, the Pope, like every Christian, must be keenly aware of the dangers to which humankind is subject in the world, in their temporal future, and in their final, eternal, scatological future. The awareness of these dangers does not generate pessimism, but rather encourages the struggle for the victory of good in every realm. And it is precisely from this struggle for the victory of good in humankind and in the world that the need for prayer arises. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, a beautiful part of our personal, of our community prayer is to profess together what we believe. Please stand up and we profess what we believe. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty. from God, life from life, true God from true God, consubstantial, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man, for our sake he was crucified and of Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again. Jesus, he has sent him to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the King of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one God. Dear brothers and sisters, now we present our prayers to God our Father. Our response is your path, Lord, our love and faithfulness for those who keep your covenant. Your paths, Lord, and love and faithfulness for those who keep your covenant. We pray for the Pope, our bishops, and the universal church. May we, like Christ, always be the sacrament of the compassionate love of God for humanity. We pray to the Lord. Your paths, Lord, and love and faithfulness we pray for the catechisms preparing for to clothe themselves with Christ on the occasion of their baptism and for the communities which support them and rejoice in their presence we pray to the Lord your path Lord, Lord. 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 
for those who keep your covenant. We pray for all those who are facing great temptations on their journey of faith. May their personal prayer and the prayers of the community with the grace of God give them the strength, the spiritual strength that they need. We pray to the Lord. We pray for members of this parish community called to recognize the fruits of the covenant of God with humanity. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our sisters and brothers serving as extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion in our parish and all other parishes and for their families. May the Lord reward them for the, their ministry, love, and reverence of the Eucharist, we pray to the Lord. We pray for those living in residences or confined to their homes, and for the sick among us who have asked for our prayers. We pray especially for Noella Peters, Beverly Ryan, Mary Jane Doherty, Nicholas Lela, Sylvia Pinto, Bob Steele, Deepak Pinto, Josel Lito Barcelina, Liziel Vasquez, Mary Teresa Fabrizi, Kalita Abalos, Remy Lorente Moren Moreno, Jocelyn Kalisin, Stephen Danilo, Danilo, Doreen Lachance, Michelle Dorasso, Sheila Boyer, Kathy Winsky, Richard Thorpe Jr., and Karen Desjardins. And for those who devote themselves to caring for a loved one who is sick or dying, or who has lost autonomy, we pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, that they may rest in peace and rejoice in the glory of God the Father, we pray to the Lord. For the prayer intentions deep within our hearts, We pray to the Lord. Our offer to him is three five eight, the Green Book.
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us pray. Give us the right disposition, O Lord, we pray, to make these offerings for with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable and sacred time. We ask this, Almighty Father, through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ Jesus our Lord. By abstaining 40 long days from earthly food, he consecrated through his fast the pattern of our Lenten observance, and by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpent, taught us to cast out the leaven of malice, so that celebrating worthily the Paschal mystery, we might pass over at last to the eternal Paschal feast. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, broke it, and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Noel C. Martha, our Bishop, all religious brothers and sisters, all missionaries preaching the gospel, and your entire people. Almighty Father, we pray for our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Today we are praying especially for the eternal repose of the souls of Larry Ford and Tony Lizo. Loving Father, we pray for all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing the words we receive from our Savior.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every temptation that can destroy our lives, our spiritual lives, our families. Keep us always united in prayer as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with with your spirit. Spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. If I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come, and you know myself holy to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Our communion hymn is 368 in the Green Book.
let us pray. Renew now with heavenly bread by which faith is nourished, hope increased, and charity is strengthened. We pray, O Lord, that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true and living bread, and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth. Through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please remember that you are invited to go downstairs to have a brunch prepared for the Board of Wardens for the fundraising for the, for the parish. Uh, one ticket is five, $15, $15 and for children? $15 for adults, 10 for kids. $15 for adults, $10 for kids. Good. And uh, Euphemia? Okay, so I have uh, two short announcements. The first one is, as you must have noticed, we've started singing uh, new parts of the Mass. Uh, we want to start learning the new parts of the Mass, so if anyone is interested, we come at 9.30 to practice, and we will all learn it together. The one we've been singing, we've been singing since 2010, so we thought it was time to learn something new. So that's the reason you heard some different, uh, the Amen, the Holy Holy, a bit different. The next announcement is, on behalf of the Catholic Women's League, I would like to invite everyone, mother, children, everybody for a movie night that we are having this Friday, February 23rd, starting at 7 p.m. And the title of the movie is The Prince of Egypt. You're all welcome, come in your comfy dresses, you can come in your PJs, you can have a blanket, you can have a pillow, and it'll be a beautiful night for everyone. Thank you. <laughs> The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. May bountiful blessing, O Lord, we pray, come down upon your people. And hope may grow in tribulation, virtue be strengthened in temptation, and eternal redemption be assured. May our Lord bless you and all your beloved ones wherever they are. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, the celebration of the Eucharist has ended. Let's go in the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is 360, the Green Book. So oh.